And I want to talk about the recipe. You don't have to give us the recipe, but in terms oh, yeah. of like the difficulty of scaling this thing, right? So you're, you're making it in a very particular part of the world. And now you have to try to make it in a different part of the world with different water, different cows, different dairy. And so how did you go navigate that process? So we built the factory in Seattle ourselves. We didn't hire anyone. We just pretty much dug yeah. trenches, put everything together. And then it came to time when we uh, got our first batch of yogurt going. And it was difficult trying to find someone that would sell us milk. You're this new company. Who are you? No one wants to give it to you. But we found a family <clears throat> farm that it's in Linden, Washington, pretty much on the border of Canada. And okay. we, we still use that milk there. They kept on, they were the ones that let us use it. And then we started making yogurt the way we did it. So we use a special blend of cultures that we pretty much brought over from Australia. But what we did here was we were able to change the little things that, you know, family family tradition said we couldn't do, you know, this is how we've always done it in the past. This is what we do. So we kind of were able to stretch the boundaries of that. And I, I honestly think the yogurt here in Seattle tastes a lot better than any of my cousins or my, uh, my family <laughs> back there. <laughs> but uh, the way we make it is so different to anything else that anyone would make it just because the effort that is required to make that cup of yogurt is so vastly different to how most yogurts made in the world. When it came to making it, is there a specific challenge with just shelf life? Yes, that's completely, that's another big challenge we have. Uh, compared to all everyone else on the set, we're pretty much half of what their shelf life is just because there's no preservatives. It's just milk cultures and the fruit. There's nothing else added to it. And the way we make it too, it's just it's exposed to the elements for bits because it's being strained by hand. Sure. So it's just really sensitive. So wow. we've been trying our best to try to create clean environments for it so it doesn't, you know, we can try to get that shelf life out a little bit more as much as a day. Even an extra day for us has always been like a big achievement. Yeah. Well, good for you guys for at least sticking yeah. to the, I mean, that's the hard part of any company. And I feel like as people yeah. grow, they always have to compromise, right? Where it's like, they'll start off with a no preservative concept and then they'll realize, oh, it's only going to last seven days, which if your product isn't selling quickly, becomes really difficult to manage because it means you're just throwing away a lot of inventory, but at the same time, you're yeah. keeping your promise. And so it's this, it's, it's a tough business decision to do this. That's one of our biggest challenges right now as well, just trying to get to the rest of the country. 